how do I deal with the resentment and bipolar emotions that come along with healing from my wife's emotional affair? She had a close call friendship with the husband of a couple that was really close to us. Unfortunately, my friend committed suicide before any of this was exposed, leaving a lot of questions and unresolved issues. We're seeing a local counselor who is wonderful, uh, but she had to skip this week's session and I was really looking forward to making some progress on this problem. I've struggled with this. I, I want my wife to hold me, but feel repulsed when she does help. There's a lot in this and oh we want to unpack gosh. this. Number one, if you remember a few a few uh, episodes ago, we were talking about how not all affairs are the same. Like there's a difference between if I'm in a one night stand with a stranger versus an emotional affair with a coworker. Those are two different types of affairs. Uh, there's a different type of hurt and pain when uh, you're having an affair with someone that you're not connected to versus having it, your spouse is having an affair with somebody that you are connected to. Mm -hmm. And we've had many people who have uh, been inappropriate, had close call friendships or full blown affairs with family members. Uh, recently, we just talked about having one with a neighbor. Yeah. And now in this situation, it is with a couple friends. So imagine that other couple that you roll with, that you're connected to, that in essence, you do life with, right? You vacation together, you do meals together, your children go to the same school together, you may go to the same church together. You're a part of each other's life on a regular basis. We as a couple are with you as a couple, but I, here's where it gets a little tricky. I have a relationship with the wife, you have a relationship with the husband, and there's ongoing casual conversations that happen. So it's no longer a team pedophore with team Jones, it's husband with wife, wife with husband, mm -hmm. and then that creates the scenario. Yeah, it started out, it sounds like it started out with good intentions, maybe as couple friends, and then maybe there was a, mm -hmm. more of a connection because sometimes people just connect and vibe more with the other. <clears throat> but when it takes a turn for the worse yes. and becomes a sexual relationship, now you're in trouble. And it sounds like with this story, um, there was a major betrayal because now this best friend has now had an affair with this man's wife. And, you know, you would say, well, how in the world could you do that? Like, that's the biggest sign of betrayal. Mm -hmm. And it is. It's a double betrayal. But how is it possible that this can happen? Well, people tend to form connections with people who they are in close proximity mm -hmm. to, people who they are in an ongoing interaction <clears throat> with. That's why you see so many affairs happen at work. That's why you see so many affairs happen with people that you serve with, whether it be a church organization, a political community organization, whatever the case may be. If I'm constantly engaged and interacting with somebody, it increases the probability. And that's exactly why you need to have boundaries and borders and parameters and a shared value system yeah. to make sure and you maybe, don't maybe they did, you know, maybe at some point they did have those boundaries, but getting so close and then, you know, making it okay for the opposite sex part of the friendship to be able to happen individually. I think that was a big, big, big major issue because we all have issues within our marriage, right? So, you know, there are times when we, we ebb and we flow and we're not our best selves as a couple. And when we have those friends, we typically lean into our friends, right? When we go through things in our marriage, you know, we usually have that best girlfriend or they, he, your husband has that best guy friend that they can go talk to and get advice from. But when it is an opposite sex friend, Friend that's also close to the relationship, it could actually fuel the issues because maybe everybody sees your issues, right? Mm -hmm. Like we all wear kind of our idiosyncrasies on our sleeves in many cases. So it really does open up that Pandora's box where you really just don't know where this can go depending on the vulnerabilities in those people. Absolutely. Yeah. And then you're dealing with the whole grieving factor because when you understand what grieving is, it is dealing with a loss. So this is a double betrayal, mm -hmm. a double grieving. You're dealing with the loss of what you thought the marriage was because it's almost like your world comes crashing down when this information comes out and you gotta figure out how to rebuild yourself. Mm -hmm. But then you're dealing with the loss of that relationship with that friend. I mean, think about your best friend who you share everything with, your most intimate details, your secrets. And meanwhile, they're the actual individual 
who's betraying you? Wow. I mean, that's a hard, hard, hard pill to swallow. And some would say that the pain of the friend could be, I mean, I don't know. It depends upon the person. For some, the pain of the spouse is worse than the friend. For some, the pain of the friend is worse than the spouse. It just yeah. really depends on the nature of that friendship, how wow. long it's lasted, what's actually happened. This stuff gets so heavy, right? When you think that you have it bad, you just look around the corner and somebody has it devastatingly yeah. bad. I mean, did you, didn't you you say that the, the friend actually committed suicide? Yeah, and that's the other thing. So not only only did you betray me as a friend then but you exited you, the building you exited the, the building you, you you took your life and so now i don't even have the closure that i'm looking for because guess what i was going to go to you to have a conversation because my spouse won't tell me everything mm. there's the trickle truth i got to figure out how to maneuver through all of these emotions and that's what we're talking about today how to deal with the resentment how to deal with the emotional triggers listen you're watching the couples academy show we'll be right back